Hey guys, so today I'm here with another cage tour. Today we're gonna be taking a look at Matilda's cage, which is a fruit theme this month. So like always, Matilda is in a 40 gallon aquarium with a screen top. Um, I got both the aquarium and the top at Petco. I know I always get a lot of questions about that. I really like the lid of this cage because it is hinged in the middle so I don't have to take the whole screen off, which is really, really nice. So now that you know what cage she is in, let's go ahead and take a closer look. little overview of her cage this month. Pretty much everything in here for this cage tour is brand new and I've never used it before. So hopefully she will enjoy it and have a great time. I think it turned out really, really cute. So starting with the bedding, the bedding she has this time is just some Aspen wood shavings. This Aspen is from Petco. I've used it a little bit in the past and although the shavings are a little bit big, um, it isn't very dusty, so it is pretty good Aspen. Moving over and starting on the left side of her tank, she just has her normal water bottle. This is the plastic KT water bottle I got at a local store. And then behind that is one of the coolest things this month. You may have seen this if you watch my P.O. Box openings. This is actually a custom made platform that one of my subscribers and friends Kaya sent to me. So this is just made from a variety of cardboard, including some like cat scratchers super super bright and colorful and there's a little m on top for matilda and then on top of that platform in the back is her blue polka dot food dish that food dish along with the little wood chew toys there are both from biovet which is a uk site that does ship to the us and then behind that you can just see the background this month this is just some cheap little wrapping paper from dollar tree moving over beside the platform is this little kebab it does have some vegetables on there also but i thought it was really really cute I got this kebab on Amazon because it was pretty cheap, but you can also find it in a lot of pet stores. And then over to the right of that is the main little chew section of her cage. In the very back is this big tunnel. This is also from BioVet. I don't remember what it's called, but I did get the medium one. So it is really, really big and she can run in there and play in there. And then I went ahead and filled that up with some soft paper bedding, once again from Violet. Since Aspen isn't very soft, I wanted to give her a nice soft burrowing material so she can take that paper bedding and move it anywhere she wants to make her nest. And then up in front of that is a variety of chews along with a little pear house. The pear house is actually from Violet once again. The grapes are actually one of PetSmart's new items. So I just put those in there so hopefully she likes that and then i have a little apple chew from a local pet store and a little wood pear chew that has some loofah on the outside that was also another gift that i got in a p.o box video from my friend nicole moving up from that she just has another little pile of chews there's not as many over here but i think they are some of the cutest chews ever so there's just one little wooden orange chew from biovet and then two loofah chews, one strawberry and one banana. Once again, these are a newer chew that PetSmart carries. None of my hamsters are usually very big fans of loofah, but since they're really, really cute, I thought I would go ahead and give it a try. And Matilda is going to come check it out right now, see if I can get a shot of her. And now, of course, she's gonna go hide behind her wheel. Speaking of her wheel, the last thing in her cage over on the right side is her Carolina Storm Express wheel. Like always, this is my absolute favorite wheel and it's great for any hamster. And I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see her, but she is actually making her nest right now back in that corner, just in the aspen bedding. She doesn't have any soft bedding yet. And I think she's burrowing all the way over. There she is. So hopefully she'll take some of that soft bedding over to her little hide. So she's just going to check everything out. I did just clean it. So she's only been in there for about 10 or 15 minutes. So she still has a lot of exploring to do and there she comes out the other side. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this fruit themed cage tour. It looks like Matilda is definitely having a great time checking everything out. Like I said, there's a ton of new items in here this time for her. So I know she's gonna have a great time exploring. And I really think she's going to like this little platform because she's never had a platform before. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss my upcoming videos and I'll see you guys next time.